With just a month left for Chicago Public Schools, the mayor explaining to Alderman how CPS will deal with a massive budget cap. He says there will be no new taxes and no cuts in the classroom. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli live at City Hall with a look at where CPS will be getting the money then. Hi, Mike. Hi, the mayor expected to brief Alderman a bit later on today, talking about a financial picture that is anything but pretty. That's to be sure, at issue a huge budget hole that must be filled in order to balance the books and pay for next school year for CPS students. Also, a massive teacher's pension payment is due at the end of June. Now, in order to make good on those bills, published reports say the Chicago Public Schools will borrow hundreds of millions of dollars to pay the short-term pension bill and keep the doors open at some 600 schools. Interest rates will be high since several agencies already put the city's credit rating at junk bond levels. The mayor says the state and the governor have been sticking it to the schools. You know, it's in the Constitution that the state of Illinois is supposed to be is the primary funder of education. I expect them to live up to their responsibility. Now, Governor Rauner responded ahead of today's planned hearings by going on the offensive. His spokesperson said, quote, instead of engaging with leaders and lawmakers to find solutions to this crisis, the mayor continuously chooses to lay blame on others instead of taking responsibility for his own massive failure of governance, end quote. The first hearing set to get underway here at City Hall at 11 a.m. Reporting live outside City Hall, Mike Cuccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron. All right, Mike, thank you very much.